Tonight, parents and former gymnasts say a Huntersville based coach physically and mentally abused young girls. We want to be clear, there are no allegations of sexual abuse. The coach isn't talking, but other parents are speaking out on his behalf. NBC Charlotte defender Michelle Bowden has been working all sides of this story all day. We were there in 2016 when Ashton Locklear was training at Everest Gymnastics in Huntersville with Coach Ki Han. She was an alternate to the Olympic team. She's now the basis of a New York Times story alleging Coach Han was physically and mentally abusive to her and other young gymnasts, including dividing girls into a so-called fat group and forcing them to do extra exercises. He would just punish them and make them... And I've seen him kind of push girls off the bar and say, get out of here. I don't want to work with you right now. Uh, I've seen girls cry, do something wrong. They'd have to go to handstand for well, 20 minutes. Michael Sirio's daughter, Sam, trained with Coach Han for years. He says he saw Han acting abusively multiple times, and his daughter told him about one particularly bad incident. She was walking back by him, and he wasn't, she wasn't doing what he wanted. And as she walked by, he took and hit her in the back of the head and told her to get out of the gym. And she started crying. She said, no, I want to continue to practice. And he shoved her until she went out the door. We spoke with another gymnast who says she was there at the time and confirmed the details of the incident. An Asheville-based coach told us she reported another alleged incident to USA Gymnastics. She says she saw Coach Han kick Kaylin Morgan at a gymnastics competition after she hurt herself during her floor routine. He's, you know, telling her, get up, you're embarrassing me. And so because she wasn't moving as fast as I think he would have liked her to, he started taking his foot and kicking her. But we talked to Kaylin herself, now 14, and her mom. Both say it didn't happen that way. Did you feel like you could continue on? No, I did not, so I told my coach. And what did he say? He said, it's okay, we're going to do great next year. And did he touch you physically in any way that was hurtful? Yeah. No. So he never kicked you? No. Coach Han himself would not talk to us, but he's hired a PR team and a legal team who helped gather a group of parents at the gym to speak out on his behalf. That's not how we know Everest. That's not how we know Coach Han. Everest Gymnastics also issued this written statement, quote, We do not tolerate abuse of any kind in our facility. We deny these alleged claims and we're prepared to defend ourselves against any allegations in the appropriate forum, including in a court of law and through USA Gymnastics. He's very encouraging and sometimes he can be like very stern, but it's like for the right reason because he wants us to be safe. Han is a, is a tough coach, I would say, but that's a part of the reason that we came here um, is because we know that the elite it means to set apart. A spokeswoman for USA Gymnastics confirmed to us that they did receive a complaint against Coach Han that they then passed on to Safe Sport. That's the agency that investigates abuse allegations. A spokeswoman for Safe Sport, though, told us they couldn't comment on ongoing investigations. In Charlotte, Michelle Budden, NBC Charlotte.